We're off to a place called Limfield today, a little walk to see the pond. It's just a bit cold. <laughs> it's and freezing. Cold wind. Oh, here comes this guy. We see this guy most days on our walk. Morning. Morning, how are you doing? Morning. It's gorgeous. Well, it's a bit nippy. A bit cold. No. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing? All right. All right. Yes. Enjoy this weather. Yeah. yeah. It's not too bad, is it? What's this gadget you've got here? Oh, that's a little camera. We're filming oh, the walk neat, today. Isn't that? Oh, isn't that neat? Tiny little thing, isn't it? Oh, that great. <laughs> yeah. And how do you develop it? Uh well, you just these days you just put it into a computer. Oh, it's all modern. <laughs> <laughs> There's no developing anymore. No. Um, Cheers. Cheers. Have a good day. Cheers. It's just private road, but this is a path through here, isn't it? It's a public footpath, yeah. But you're not allowed to drive down here. No. Right, so we cut through here, and then we have this little footpath. The right. Yeah. The track's a little bit muddy, but nothing as bad as previous days. Nice house, isn't it? It'd be even better if I got it framed in the shop properly. But I'm using a DJI Pocket 2, which is a new camera. I'm not quite used to it yet. And one of the problems I get is I keep switching it into photo mode instead of video. So we've emerged from that narrow path and left behind Haywards Heath and we've now entered the village of Limfield. All the pubs are still shut in the UK. Yeah, well, that would have been from the last time before lockdown, wouldn't it? So this is our destination. This is Linfield, a village in the district of Mid-Sussex. It stands on the upper reaches of the River Ouse and the name Linfield means open land with lime trees. Here we're 34 miles south of London and in 2011 the population was just under 6,000 people. The parish church, All Saints, stands at the top of the high street and its history goes back to 1098. Before the arrival of Covid, on these greens every year they would celebrate bonfire night with a huge bonfire and a display of fireworks. You made it. So now we have our bearings, let's take a walk through the park towards the pond and then on up the high street and have a look at some of the old buildings that are in this village. At the bottom of the high street is a natural spring-fed pond with fish, ducks and herons. We often see this pond when we are setting off on our adventures in the Little Red Camper. Just up here is the Tamasha restaurant, which is a lovely Indian restaurant that we've been to several times. I've been in there for a while, have we? like a little takeaway isn't it? Yeah, do you go and have a look and see what the menu is? Be nice if they are doing takeaway food from here. What is it? It's just drinks. Oh really? Um, teas and coffees and milkshakes. Oh, okay. They're closed now anyway. Yeah. 
Next to the Indian, we have the Old Town Hall. King Edward III recognised the importance of medieval Limfield and in 1343 granted the town a royal charter to hold a market every Thursday and two annual eight-day fairs. So that, did that used to be the post office? Post office, yeah. So that's gone out of business? Yeah. yeah. For centuries, the fairs continued each April and August with the summer fair becoming one of the largest sheep sales in Sussex. The High Street follows an ancient north-south track that has existed for thousands of years, long before the Romans built a major road, the London to Brighton Way, a mile to the west of the village. Must be a tough time for kitchen businesses now. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a little favourite bakery. Yeah, does it look like they're open on a Sunday? I don't think they've done any business since it started, you know. I mean just look at the windows. Finished, haven't they? Well, they were quite elderly, weren't they? So I think they were, yeah. So maybe, you know, they were in the at risk group. Yeah. Limes are doing takeaway. Limes is a Thai restaurant. Yeah. And before COVID, they used to do themed food evenings that were really good. Oh, there's another post office here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, probably. What I really like about this place is the huge range of independent shops and businesses that are available to the residents. This ancient high street lined with lime trees has over 40 medieval and post-medieval timber framed houses. Tucked down that little passageway is that Samore Italian restaurant. <laughs> We've crossed the road to show you this house that has Viking written on it. It's not a business, it's a circa 17th century cottage, but it's now a private house. One of the oldest houses in the village is Church House, formerly known as the Tiger and still referred to as the Tiger by Limfield residents. Is it open? It's a pub, isn't it? We've reached the top of the town now and All Saints Church.
clunky. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give it a like and consider subscribing.